A spectacular sight in San Francisco Bay today. This massive cargo ship so large it barely passed under the Bay Bridge. In fact, it's actually the largest ship in North American history, certainly the largest to visit the port of Oakland. But with the pandemic ravaging global trade, why was it here? We sent our Don Ford to find out. The pandemic has certainly affected the amount of cargo coming in and out of Oakland, but even the coronavirus couldn't stop the world's biggest ship from coming into port. She's the MSC Anna. At 1,312 feet long, she's nearly a football field longer than a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. She carries almost 20,000 shipping containers and is only four years old. Sailing a ship this size into San Francisco Bay takes special training. You know, a ship of this size in San Francisco Bay is, is an immense navigational challenge. Here we have, you know, fog, we have wind, we have strong currents, we have shallow water, we have submerged rock, we've got bridges, lots of other traffic, including ferries, tugboats. There's about 9,000 ship movements a year that happen in San Francisco Bay. It's a busy port. The San Francisco bar pilots studied for weeks getting ready for the Anna, including specialized simulator training at the Cal Maritime Academy in Vallejo. The ship is so big that it waited for low tide to get under the Bay Bridge. It used four high-powered tractor tugs as it slowly slipped into the Oakland dock. Amazing, huh? Small crowd of folks came down to see the spectacle, including seven-year-old Adrian Oakes. Yeah, what do you think it's carrying inside all those boxes? Um, toys, TVs, and um, <laughs> uh, some balls and stuff. Actually, most of these containers are empty. Deanna is on a special trip to collect empty containers from Long Beach and Oakland and return them to China. This is an extraordinary voyage for now. But there have been hints from numerous shipping lines that vessels the size of the MS Sienna could uh, become part of regular service. Deanna departs tomorrow in Oakland. Don Ford, KPIX 5.